All right. So pick one, pack one here. Ooh, this is a nice pack. Right away, you see Orcish Bowmasters versus Seasoned Dungeoneer. There's also Oko and Remand in the pack. Seasoned Dungeoneer is an initiative card, so it's not in the current uh, Magic Online cube, I don't think. And I think both Bowmasters and Dungeoneer are quite strong. I, I would have a hard time passing Bowmasters. Where are you I, at there? I, yeah, and I think Bowmasters is just one of the best cards in the cube outside of a lot of the, the, the power cards. I mean, it just does so much. It's good against aggressive decks. You can even sometimes draft a combo deck around it where you just take some draw sevens with the Bowmasters and you can finish off your opponent that way. So I would be hard-pressed to pass the Bowmasters here. But the all the cards that just say initiative on them are also extremely powerful. Definitely. All right, this is going to be an interesting uh, pick as well because so Logan's got this Bowmasters, which is great with draw sevens, great in like a combo deck, but also just good in any deck, aggro, mid range, whatever. So here he's got a pack where he's got like Wasteland, Fire Covenant as like pretty solid fair cards. And I'm sure Fire Covenant's like right down Logan's alley. That just kills all their creatures at the low, low cost of, you know, three to 10 life, whatever it ends up being. But there's also there's like Jace. Jace and Shallow Grave. Oh, what? he just slams the Jace. Okay. He did slam the Jace. Is he going to go for the Brain Freeze? What do you think? <laughs> I mean, he could, but given his start, I mean, you can kind of go any direction. You take the Brain Freeze as kind of a spec card, right? Because when you do go down that route, then you're going to have to start looking for cards like Underworld Breach or, you know, Rituals to kind of make that card work. What are the other considerations in this pack, though? I mean, there's Retrofitter Foundry, but that's also a speculative card. If you end up with a Talarian Academy or Guy's Cradle in your deck, that card's really strong. Uh, Brainstorm is, I think, too cowardly of a pick. Like, you, you always <laughs> play that card in a deck that has Jace, but yeah. I don't think it's that much of an engine card. Honestly, I think I think Brain Freeze is the pick. And if Logan's not happy drafting that kind of deck, yeah, it looks wow. like he's taking the aura. So he's, if he's going to do that, I would have been less inclined to take the Jace in general, just because... Right. Because one of the one of the possibilities when you take Jace is drafting a storm deck, but now that he's got a good blue card and a good black card, he could take Toxic Deluge as a control card. Probe is always good. Raugren Triumph is a pretty solid pick just early in the draft. There's also Chain Lightning. I think I would probably lean towards a Probe. I just I'm just a huge fan of any of the one mana cantrip effects. Probe gives you that information. It's a cheap spell to fill your yard with the Jace, and you can still kind of go any direction. With, with what you have started here. And here, I would prop. I mean, if I'm Logan Nettles and given what he's drafted so far, I'd be pretty surprised if he doesn't take Mana Leak. But Cru Archon of Cruelty is extremely powerful. Yeah, I like Ar Archon as the upside pick. Also, a fifth yeah. pick Archon is a pretty nice sign. We don't know what the other players around him are up to, of course. But getting a fifth pick Archon, at the very least, means there was multiple reanimate cards in the same pack because it's really hard to, to for a reanimate player to e ever pass that. So... Getting getting Archon fifth probably makes me assume someone opened a pack with like a piece of power in it. But either way, Archon is nice. And that actually opens the door to show and tell if you wanted to get a little spicy. Though Consider is yeah. obviously a fine pick here too. Yeah, Consider is also great. And yeah, uh, Logan here opting for the cheaper card here. Continue going through his deck. And then the Archon of Cruelty, you also have a nice discard outlet in that Jace Friends Prodigy as well. Also Consider is kind of like an Entomb if you think about it. Mm, no. <laughs> okay what about unmarked grave that's kind of like okay <laughs> well no also not an entomb but it's a reanimate spell and it goes well with of course the archon of cruelty because it is no unmarked grave is literally an entomb that that is what an entomb oh entomb. excuse me excuse me sorry i thought that was a reanimate spell i thought that was the um I yeah that yeah was persist right i actually like the unmarked grave a lot here because archon's the best thing to unmarked grave for oh what? Man, Logan, logan's gonna take the the brazen bar or he's he's, he's got to remain a little more consistent but the problem okay. with with doing that is like if you waffle too much, you're just going to end up with a less powerful deck. Interesting. This is interesting. Do you think Logan's just looking to maybe just try to find natural ways to put Archon of Cruelty into the graveyard so that you're not down a card when you do so? I don't know. I don't, I, I, I'm not sure. It, it feels like he's straddling a little, like taking Odawara over Brain Freeze, but then he took Archon over Mana Leak and now taking Brazen Borrower uh, over Unmarked Grave. So Malcolm is nice with any plan. Basically, where I see Logan's deck is right now, he's going to end up with a totally fine blue-black like mid-range deck. Whether he or not he plays this Archon is kind of going to depend on which animate spells, if any, he sees. So, right. But my, I guess my inclination is either to go a little harder into the control route. Ooh, Zagoth Triumph is really That's nice. That's an pick easy up. Triumph here. Um, and take Mana Leak over Archon. Though I like the Archon pick, but once you have the Archon, like you, you kind of got to take the Unmarked Grave. It's a little. It's pretty tough to pass that for. I would say Brazen Borrower is a pretty mediocre card at this point. Like, it's a fine card. You'll play it, right. but it's not like an engine card. Yeah, 
But Logan is setting himself when the brain freeze <laughs> the table. Brain freeze wow. I would just take it at this point. Like there's yeah. just a lot of opportunities to use brain freeze. If you Absolutely. get another world breach, for example, uh, if you, if you end up with a bunch of draw sevens and rituals, it can be good. Gaunti and, and displacer kitten are very replaceable. Okay. He, uh, Logan goes, okay, twist my arm. I'm going to put it in the sideboard. He's going to put it in the sideboard. <laughs> just no, I... immediately in the sideboard. It's not even on the, there's like, usually I, a, uh, like a, like a, like a section I have for spec picks. I'm like, look, if I get the underworld breach to go with this, I can make something happen. But he just goes straight to the sideboard with that brain freeze. Pile on pretty reasonable. It's also kind of a nice combo with bow masters. Cause it just puts two creatures into play. Yeah. Two mana kill anything. Yeah, I like Witherbloom for the sideboard. Okay, Kaito. Kaito is a discard outlet. Oh no, that's not the um that's not the No, three this is the four mana Kaito. Kaito. Yeah. All right. Well, this is a really good pack one. I mean, Bowmasters is such a premium card. And, oh man. <laughs> what a mana, pack. Mana Crypt and Shieldred in one ring. Also oh, a Pluto Delta, you're kind of sad to, to pass up on. But yeah. I mean you just mana crypt here. Mana crypt yeah. is so broken. It's I mean it's 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 one of the best cards in the cube here, so uh, it, it is tough passing that Shieldred. Shieldred plus Bowmasters and some number of draw sevens would be an excellent way to kind of turn your fair deck into having it be able to do some unfair things. But again, you just don't pass Mana Crypt. Yeah, it, we're not even like, like Logan's deck right now is not the best Mana Crypt deck, but now that you have the Mana Crypt, you, you can just draft cards that right. work well with it, which is three and four drops mainly. But also, it still has like Fencer and Kaito. Not even bad to play Turn One Malcolm or Bowmasters, so. I, I would be inclined to mana crypt here. I mean, it's kind of painful passing a shield rid, but you, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, one thing to note is that we haven't seen a single reanimation spell in that first pack. No, none. It's just something, just something to keep an eye out for. Although you did see that arc kind of cruelty. So here we've got Mox Diamond, which is a, a very solid pick, always good. We've got Urza if you want to go down the mana crypt, maybe more artifacts route, and then there's Bitter Triumph which is a great removal spell and is really, really good in reanimate decks because it gives you a way to pitch your creatures. Kind of curious which way Logan goes. I feel like we're not committed enough to reanimator to want to take Bitter Triumph over Mox Diamond here. And so I guess I would lean towards Mox Diamond, but I think he would really go any of these directions. But Mox Diamond is also a card that puts you down a card. It, it, do you think Logan is the type of player sure, Logan who like... likes being down cards? I don't think Mox Diamond is this style of card. Not so much, no. And Bitter Triumph <laughs> is, is, a, is a very defensible pick here yeah. because of future reanimation equity, uh, which hopefully at some point you run into. This pack's kind of a whiff, though, because you're not really set up to be an upheaval deck. The Mana Crypt does kind of push you a little more in the City of Traders direction because cards that are good with one are good with the other. But past that, it's like a red card in DAC. You could take Aklazots, the, the Black Legend, but I don't think that card's that mm, good. Yeah. I mean, you could could you consider deck fade? I mean, typically reanimated decks also tend to be red. I mean, if you get the mana to work, deck fade in is just a powerful card that could also potentially put cards in your graveyard. Would that be a consideration here? Yeah, I think I would deck here. Like, I, I don't I don't love City of Traders in this kind of deck, and I, I don't like taking deck when I have no fixing for it. But it's there's still time, and this pack is just kind of weak. There's not, not much bad. you could do here. Wow, this pack's not much better. This this, oh, this is tough. I mean. Bayou is kind of nice because you already have Zagoth Triumph, but yeah, Cryptic is oh, a fine. Cryptic Command. Just a disappointing pick. Well, there's our first reanimate spell from the Catacombs. Yeah. Five mana, puts a creature from any graveyard into play, and you get the initiative. Also, it is Escape, which is, makes it really nice because you can just get this chain where you cast it and cast it again. Frantic Search is also fantastic. I would never really criticize someone for taking Frantic Search in this kind of deck, but he is running short on... He has no reanimate effects and currently has... Malcolm, Jace, and Dak as discard outlets. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of an, on the more expensive end for reanimation spells. So maybe he's just hoping that he gets something cheaper and maybe Frantic Search he can just put into his deck. I mean, again, this just doesn't necessarily need to be a reanimator deck, right? No, not at all. But it does make the Bitter Triumph and the Archon and stuff worse. All right, yeah. Spell Pierce over Dark Ritual. They're kind of the same card. You either make their spell cost two more or yours cost two less. So... <laughs> Pretty reasonable either way. Here, I I, I wouldn't Urtai, mind picking right? up a, a Badlands. Oh, uh, you like the Badlands? I think... Our, so oh, it's, we have a Dak Faden. Sure, we have yeah, a Dak Faden. It's also kind of how I view Brazen Borrower. I, I view Urtai and Brazen Borrower as about the same level of card, same with like Pylon or Fencer. These cards are fine, but you just get enough of them that I don't prioritize them. Kaito, 
treachery. Like these are all okay. similar. So I, I would be more inclined to take fixing over them. But if he's just not going to play the deck, then that's also fine. Ooh, yeah, it looks like to me, it, it looks to me that based on some of these last few picks that we've seen from Logan, he's happy just playing kind of a, a blue black flash style control deck with just a bunch of counter spells. I mean, look at his four drops. You have Urtai, Cryptic Command, Venser, and Pylon with Malcolm, Brazen Borrower, Orcish Bowmasters. So, I mean, he has instant speed threats. And also, if you can just pick up a few more counter spells, that's just a pretty good recipe for success. Yeah, it, it, it's going to end up maybe wasting a couple picks. And as you actually, like you mentioned, the, you know, the Archon and the Frantic Search are already gone. Um, but he has got Mana Crypt. He's got Bowmasters. Like, he's got enough power in the deck that he doesn't necessarily need to be doing this. It it does punish you a little for taking Archon over Mana Leak, for example. Yeah. But, you know, that's just kind of how draft is. You know, he could, he could have easily gone Archon into a fourth pick Necromancy or whatever, or fifth pick Necromancy. It just didn't end up happening that way. And yeah. it's also easy enough pack three. If he opens a reanimate, you can just take the reanimate and put the Archon and Frantic Search back in his deck. And that's also a totally reasonable way to go about things. So, so now, given that you know, this is kind of what Logan's deck is, what are the types of cards that we're looking for in pack number three? If, for example, you're no longer looking to do the reanimator thing, Timewalk, and you're just Black trying Lotus, to be blue-black. Oh. Soul Ring, Mark okay. Sapphire. Like, aside from dead. the obviously powerful cards. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that from the Catacombs came back? Amazing. Jeez. Uh, so I actually do think that I, I would be still looking for reanimate and animate dead. I still think that that would just be a good strategy. Oh, time Black, Lotus. Black Lotus and Time Walk. Okay, there we go. Luis, I mean, really? Oh, really? You asked me. I answered. Come <laughs> on, though. This is insane. I Are mean, you it's pretty. Me? It, it's pretty lucky for uh, for who he's passing to. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Did you much. see that? I think I he think just Logan screenshotted, screenshotted it. the this I, I I would. I like Time Walk oh. over Lotus. You have in Jace. General. And certainly here, yes. The Jace yeah. is like a huge, a huge, uh, <laughs> a huge incentive to Time Walk. So, oh well, man, what a go. Pa- Can you imagine getting past Black Lotus? You're just like, actually, it did happen to me. Can, can you? Because I passed yeah. you on the draft like last week. <laughs> you sure did. Oh, you're going to, he's going to, he's about to pass someone a Lion's Eye Diamond to go with their Lotus. Black like, Lotus? Really go nuts. Uh, as for Logan, this pack's actually kind of disappointing. Yeah. Is it I just think... a fairy mastermind or like... Oh, is like... he looking at this lion's eye diamond? He's got Wait, a brain freeze. are we freeze. going to combo? He th- oh, he does have a brain... I don't know if he has enough. I mean, I would just take the lion's eye diamond here, but I also would have taken the brain freeze and not tried to yeah. wield it. So. Well, you would have drafted a very different deck probably. This is true. You know, lion's eye diamond plus from the catacombs is actually a sick combo. Turn two, you play your second land, you play lion's eye, you crack it. Discard your whole hand, including your Archon, and then you exile like all the cards in your hand to flashback from the Catacombs. <laughs> sure, that's actually sure. sick. Yeah, honestly, this pack is so bad. Logan should just take the Lion's Eye Diamond. I he might just take Fairy Mastermind, given what I've seen. Yeah, he, I, he's going to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, the, the, there's the Exhum. There Man, is. I love Ponder. Just so Ponder. Much. You can just stay the course here. Exhum is also kind of tough because Exhum's the worst of the reanimate spells. Yep. Like it's really bad if you're not just like turn three reanimating. Yeah. If your opponent, if your opponent's got land cyclers too, I mean, oh, just... I haven't had that happen yet, but that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exhum in response, uh, I'll cycle my troll. All right. Well, ponder. I think ponder is a totally fine pick. The other thing is, Logan has time walk and mana crypt in his deck. He 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 already has like a sufficient amount of power plus a bunch of idiots to, to end the game. He could just take more cantrips and, and if he finds more disruption or counter spells and just have a, a really good deck. So he doesn't really need to sh- kind of shoot the moon and go for a reanimator deck. It, yeah. It's not to say that the Archon's not going to be in the final deck list, especially if you, even from the Catacombs alone, is like kind of close on it because he's right. got some natural discard outlets. But I just don't think he has to take a high risk strategy. These packs are pretty bad. I mean, this pack yeah. is all blanks. Do you take Blood Crypt here? I mean, I'll you do take... have a Restless Spire. Okay, you're just high tiding. Sure, oh. I, I would have just taken Blood Crypt, but it's kind of the same thing. Oh man, I, I think this is more of a Baleful Strix deck than a Lurus deck. But yeah. passing that Lurus to the person who might have Lotus and LED is pretty sick. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like you're going to be a lot more excited about somebody else's drafting. But keep in mind though, that Brain Freeze went around the table, so I don't know if anybody was actually looking to do the Storm thing. Yeah, but you don't have to be Storm to have all those cards in your deck. That's yeah. I think that's actually the biggest difference when it comes to cards like Time Twister and Lion's Eye Diamond than, than what it used to be. is you, Those can just be parts of a really strong deck that is not 
trying to go off. Oh, I kind of like the Loris pick here. He does have a bunch of cheap creatures. Yeah, just get back the Bowmasters and the Jace. And he, he just... Oh, oh no. Oh, uh. <laughs> just couldn't pull the trigger because he actually, yeah. if you saw, took out all the expensive permanents out of his deck. He could have companion Loris. Is this a Bob deck, Luis? Oh, yeah. This looks like a Bob deck. His mana's pretty bad, though. Yeah, you could consider taking the Burden Catacombs. I mean, he might have to take Burden because he's already got a ton of power level. Yeah. And he's got kind of mediocre mana. So I, I agree with that. Oh, there's the oh, breach. Oh, the breach. Can you do it? Is it too late? He doesn't have any fixing. He's got a Restless Spire. He'd have Breach the Blood Crypt. But Breach Brain Freeze, Frantic Search? Yeah, that's already enough. Yeah, give Caxian a probe. Yeah. That's a free I mean, spell. You're not really giving anything up. You're, you're, you're giving up a Virtue of Persistence, maybe a Woodfall Primus that you're not going to play. Yeah. I think Virtue is the card that will likely okay so he's just off it yeah and Man. then there's the mystical tutor here is not crazy you can go get time, time walk, walk from the catacombs removal spell it would have been nice to pick up a draw seven for that those orcish bow masters but you know what you're taking one. here you're a big fan of the snuff out right i love snuff out i, I wouldn't pass it it's the black swords to block shares i mean okay it costs zero instead of one and you lose the life instead of them gaining the life but like snuff out is really good yeah it's certainly a lot better than it initially looks Trinket Mage, you have one I mean, card for the Mana Crypt. How good you are at card evaluation. Because I initially thought the card was busted. And, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, what if they play a black creature, Luis? That's true. You can't snuff out a black creature. <laughs> also, it's not better than swords. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ooh, Leovold? He can actually play Leovold in this deck. Uh, you can. Verdant Catacombs just get you the... You, you have three green sources already. Yeah, one forest. You have four green sources. I mean, you don't even technically need the forest, but it, you, it'd be kind of nice to have an untapped source. Yeah. There's also an Oracle Moldiah, though. I'm kind of off that card at this point. I think it's just a little bit... So, Oh, oh Tamiyo. Yeah, wait, wait, Tamiyo why did I go to the sideboard? Don't you have oh, a time walk? Oh, Logan, you got to get that Tamiyo you in there. You got to get the Tamiyo in, right? Tamiyo time walk is just busted. This deck is sick. I, oh, I have high hopes for Logan's deck here. Yeah. I think I would want to get the Tamiyo in. Maybe at that point you could even consider Witherbloom because that card's pretty good. But uh, yeah, I would have loved it if Logan was able to maybe pick up a draw seven. We got a Leovold and a Bowmaster. Yeah, that would be fantastic. But this is still really good. Yeah. And oh, so he got he it up, in. Yep, he played one forest <laughs> and ended up playing the Leovold and the Tamiyo. Okay, yeah. I mean, this just looks like a busted deck, like honestly. Like, there's a lot of different ways Logan could have ended up. Like he could have. He could have been a Loris Companion deck. He could have maybe been a Breach deck, maybe both. He could have been a harder reanimate deck. But I think all the paths that Logan could have taken, he he would end up with a good deck. And this deck is great. So like, I don't even think, like, yes, I, I think I clearly would have made some different picks over the course of the draft and ended up in a different place. But I think from Logan's seat, determining that Blue Black was the place to be is going to net you a really good deck. And Logan's deck is fantastic. Like, it's got to be one of the best in the draft, I would imagine. I mean, and this is totally a Logan deck, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All value because... cards, no Mox Diamonds, no Chrome Moxes. <laughs> he does have a Mystical Tutor that does put him down a card, but he's got to make right. sure to get something good with it, you know? He's just like, all right, I guess I'll play this Mystical because I have this Time Walk, right? Otherwise, exactly. he's just not going to play that card. Well, but Mystical I mean, for, at... from the Catacombs is kind of a game breaker in the middle of the game, too. Yeah, no, absolutely. But, I mean, this Green Splash certainly seems extremely powerful. Leovold's fantastic. Tamiyo to get back the Time Walk, so you have the potential of doing some broken things, despite having most of your deck kind of just be a little bit on the fair side. But, I mean, oh. I'm pretty happy. I mean, this deck looks really exciting. We have a Bowmasters, Time Walk, a lot of premium cards in here. Wow, this is weird, though. We're not seeing Mana Crypt. It's got to be in here. It's definitely in here. Okay. It's in the sideboard? <laughs> let him cook let him cook i that's crazy to me but let him cook <laughs> you have a virtue and like four mana planeswalkers oh my goodness all right uh, who needs a mana crypt well, logan logan plays one way well, well, well he we'll, sure does we'll let him brew I, I i just assumed there's a mana crypt in there but i guess if there isn't there isn't all right let's 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 see how this let's see how this mana crypt list blue black deck uh fares. I, I do think it's, it's gonna be good stuff.